video I'll be showing you how to make a duck inspired by Ramiro Brito. We're going to start off with a circle. Not too big and not too small. Next, you're going to draw a horizontal line right where the beak goes. This is your guideline for your eye and beak. Next, we're going to do a curved line just like that. We're going to bring it down and connect it to there. Next, we're going to do the eye. On top there, you're going to draw, cut a curved line like so. Here in the eye, you can draw a circle, you can draw a triangle, heart, up to you. I'm doing a circle for mine. And here, where I usually have a straight line to show the, the nostril, or you can call it on the duck, I'm going to be doing a circle. Next, we're going to have a curved line, almost like a wavy line. I'm going to loop around and make the body. Curved line here, and you're going to do the top of the body now. Kind of go to the end there and stop. Now you're going to do a diagonal line. make three feathers. One, two, three. And it closes off. Next, you're going to do a sideways curve line like so. One, two, three. It closes off. Okay, there's your basic drawing of a duck. Now we're going to go in and add shape and pattern. Inside here, I'm going to add some circles. And I'm going to close this off with maybe a zigzag. And do zigzag pattern inside here. Okay. Next, I'm going to decide on my neck. Let's do something like a wavy line here. And we're going to make lines. Once again, you can make your own pattern if you want to. Around the eye, I'm going to go in and make a triangle. I'm framing her eye with triangles. Huh? She's wearing a mask. Oh, kind of like that. Let's do just a random wavy line here. Go ahead and do the top of the body. We already have circles here. We don't want to put too many circles. So I think I'm going to just do diagonal lines. And think about color when you're doing this. So I know that I want this to be yellow and red. Okay? Yellow and red will be this here. So I might do pink, yellow pink, yellow, pink, yellow, and so on. Or I could do pink, red, pink, red, pink, red. Yeah, that's, I like that better. Pink, red, pink, red will look good. Okay, so that's that, the top. Over here, I'm gonna keep it simple and do just hearts over and over. And when I color it in, it's gonna be yellow for the background and red and pink for the hearts. Okay, so there's my duck. So we're done with the duck. Now it's time to do the background. I'm gonna draw a horizontal line here. It's gonna be where the water is. I'm gonna divide the water using diagonal lines. So at this point, that's good enough. You could start coloring if we're doing on paper. And you could do light blue, dark blue, light blue, dark blue, light blue. I personally like adding pattern. So I'm gonna go in, add some spiral lines here. It makes it more interesting to solid color. Over 
over here, I'm gonna make kind of like sprinkles. All right, get a nice spiral lines again. That will look Mickey. sprinkles then spiral and then sprinkle okay all right not quite done yet give her a little thought bubble what should we like be thinking about Probably gonna be thinking about her nest. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw an egg right here. And design an Easter egg for her. There you go, she's thinking about eggs. And let's do a little baby duck. For the sky, I'm going to be doing clouds. And then a little bit of grass right here. The basic Romeo Brito duck. So let's review a little bit about color. So if I wanted to do color theory, let's start with the egg. I might do complementary. I will do yellow purple, yellow purple. Yellow and purple are two colors across from each other on the color wheel. Alright, let's move on here. If I wanted to do warm colors, okay. I could do yellow here and then red circles and make a pattern of red, orange, red, orange, red, orange, red, or pink, red, pink, red, pink, red, pink, red. I kind of like that better. Okay, over here, I could do yellow and red hearts. These are all warm colors. They're colors that represent heat. In the background here, I could do analogous colors, which are two to four colors next to each other, otherwise known as cool and warm. So I will have a sky that's colored in with blue, and then over here, I will have the green grass, which is also a cool color. Blue, green, and purple are cool colors. I could even, if I want to be more, you know, out there, instead of having white clouds, I could have purple clouds, okay? Over here, I could have a pattern of turquoise spirals, light blue. Over here, sprinkles could be red, and then a light blue background. So we have dark blue, light blue. Dark blue, light blue, dark blue, light blue. And keep in mind, there'll be red dots right here. Okay, so that kind of gives you the idea of how bright the colors will be. It's time for you guys to make your own Romeo Brito inspired artwork on your whiteboard. So, 